I don't care if you free form win or not, keep a crisp lineup. A lineup camouflages the fact that your hair is messed up. Another thing you want to avoid, avoid wearing hats and hoods as much as you can. Why? The friction. Little pieces of hair get caught up in your hats and your hoods, your clothes, whatever. You don't really notice it until you start to notice your hair is thinning, either at the scalp or the dreadlock itself. Then you look at what you be wearing a lot, you see a whole lot of little hairs everywhere. Avoid that and beanies. It's a hit or miss, honestly, with this with this particular topic. It's a hit or miss. I, I don't know my hair type. My girlfriend says I have a, a 3B texture, which means it's, it's soft, soft as shit, which is why if I was to comb out my hair like I say I want to do, it would be very easy for it to come out. You also have to make sure at the root, nothing is getting skinny. Skinny. It is skinny at the root right there. So you gotta do a crochet needle. You also gotta check on your ends. If you don't do them yourself, it does come at a high price. Anywhere between 60 and 80. Anything above and beyond, that's with retwist and style. But anything beyond that, they must do a pretty damn good job at what they're doing. Keep your hands out of it. Don't let people touch your shit. Oh, another thing I forgot. Avoid putting your hair back as much as possible if you do do not do it too tight because dreadlocks in my opinion are the leading cause of receding hairline if you have dreadlocks you go from here right to back here ask stevie wonder